Hey guys, this is Saib. Today, uh, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to PS Grid crack WinWire files with a program. And basically, it's say there's like a, f a WinWire file that's passworded like inside of it. For example, like a jailbreak for PS3. Usually, they're all passworded whenever I tried anyway. Or like other hacks like, um, I don't know, like Launcher hacks or like Call of Duty or something. Anyways, um, this is the link to the download for this crack and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so uh, this is my YouTube channel let's skip that you go to meet the website I put it, I'm gonna put it into the description just click that and press download so while this is wait I mean this I'm not gonna respond I'm just gonna get this out of here so I don't have to get this thing and then uh, let's wait for this to download ah, dang it stop sending me messages alright so we open that Go to WinWire file, press setup, and uh, yeah, now we play the waiting game. Press next, I agree, blah blah blah. Uh, right now, this is where you can uh, make sure like where it downloads to. I put it to my desktop so it's just, so it yeah, so it's easier. It's gonna say this. It's just only for me though because I already have it downloaded. Let's keep, I'm just going to keep ignoring it. And then it's downloaded, blah, blah, blah. It's going to say the update thing. There's a new update for it. Do not use that. This exit this pop-up out. And you're good. You're good from here. Now go to where uh, you downloaded it from. If on default, it's to your program files. If you have Windows 7 and 64-bit, those are program files, 86X, or if it, yeah, 32-bit, I believe. It's just regular um, just program files. That's it. Alright, now since you're in here, uh, you're going to go to your directory and just open it up. For me, it's right here, so rar.pr. And you're going to get to open the WinWire file once again. Let's drag this out of the way. And go to crack, and you're going to see an application in here. Just drag that right inside of here. Okay, when it's going to say this is a file with the same name in this location. Just press move and replace. Press continue. Press yes, it's going to say denied because it's already opened for some reason. If it's already open, it's not going to work. So, just the heads up. Now you can just retry that. And there you go. So make sure to close the program while you're doing this so it doesn't give you that error. Now, if you go to here, press URP WDR. Press close or no. Open. Now you're going to go to the file that you want to password uh, crack. It, right, there's an example. Just press example for now. Oh, unless you have one already. Uh, right here, blah blah blah, nothing. Right here, you're gonna see all printable symbols. You wanna click that. The default, I believe, it's only on digits and lowercase numbers. Press all printable symbols. Press brute attack method, brute force, and uh, press start. Or right here, you would this would be canceled. So now press start. And normally, this would take about maybe a minute, minute max. That's what it was for me. Uh, maybe one to two minutes right now, maybe because it's a little bit, it's three digits, it tells you right there, it tells you exactly what's happening, initialize, loaded, opening it, detective, blah, 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 and as soon as this is over, it will give you the password, so, sometimes it could actually be shorter, and, like, right now, it's just gonna keep doing random passwords, that's how brute force works, and, uh, you can save the dot text file for example right here I already saved it once so I just save resave it and then press in place press OK uh, you can also it gives you the password right there IBM is a valid password just copy that and then if you go back in here this is WinWire code the WinWire code is right here password IBM copy that you go back to the your folder here actually right here and okay, now you go to example, drag this somewhere, I don't, it doesn't matter, and then type in the password, IBM, and there you go, just move in place, I tried it once before, and there you go. Alright, that's how you do it, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, if you guys ever want to see any other tutorials, post them in the comments section, subscribe, like, if you liked it, and have a good day, guys.